I just wanted to say something. You know, I looked at the numbers today and I realized that Ryan Upchurch is something of a one hit wonder. Holler Boys is his number one hit, you know. But most of his stuff is just not viewed all that often. Um, but I thought I've been thinking about this for a while and I've been thinking about it because I realized that at some point, I, you know, I looked at a list of like some of the most ever played songs on the radio and realized that it, one of them was Stairway to Heaven from Led Zeppelin. And it got me to realizing that Led Zeppelin had a lot of a lot of folk rock influences in their stuff. And, you know, they were part of the folk rock uh uprising and everything or you know not uprising but definitely like revival inside the united states would probably be a better term for it you know sorry i i terminology is a little bit off you know but they 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 were they were great within you know the confines of you know the time period and you know now they they're still being played you know as an echo like you know what 30 40 years later. And, and, and it got me thinking that, um, you know, part of, part of the reason, the reason for a lot of this and, and everything is that should that country music, for instance, like I would to sell you on folk, I would say, you know, look in the direction of like Agalus, a pale folklore as an album, and then realize that there are neo folk influences that are shot all over Agalus stuff as, and they are a black metal band. But a black metal band with very intense folk influences, you know, look in the direction of like Nightwish with the Islander, you know, for instance, as an example, that's a very heavily influenced uh, folk song from Nightwish. You know, look at the fact that there are all these other genres of music that have been hit like folk influences have you know basically shot through all of them and fused with whatever else they were doing so if they were doing rock music their rock music is now folk rock you know it's, it's all you know there's all this you know fusion of stuff together with it and you know it got me thinking about ryan and i ended up realizing you know despite the drama between the two of us as like a person that was like actually trying like actually willing to do advice to this guy even though I, i'm not i don't like a lot of his political takes like i think that country music performers should basically stop making country and break into the folk music scene to be honest with you or at least try if you have to hire vocal coaches to change your voice to fit the you know the the scene um i say all this because you know what i will say about the folk music business and everything is that it kind of seems to be like you know it, it, it very much so feels like you have a much greater shot at making like a super hit or a very successful song than you do with country. And and also, if you want to influence the generations that come after you, you'd be producing folk. And if you want, at the end of the day, to basically uh, be able to make your imprint on genres that are far flung and removed from country music and have, you know, nothing to do with the music, the type of music that you produce, you would be producing folk because folk is not like country and in a big, big way, it's kind of like, it's, you know, uh, I guess you could say like uh, older brother that's more successful than it usually I can count on it but the one thing that makes it so big and wild is that you know it, it's almost like folk you know springs up from the ground beneath but is also way up there in the clouds you know it, it being an ability to basically spread as with the winds as, and influence things that are in far flung places so it's like you end up with influences over black metal you end up with influences over rock music you end up with influences over just about every everybody it has a pan dimensional sort of influence that you know artists that are producing content that have that are completely different than you know your genre will be mixing together folk rock stuff or folk you know fusing it into their work i mean it's it's how you it, it, if you want songs that are going to be able to influence other musicians that's what you do and this is the problem with ryan you know, his stuff, his stuff is an ephemeral phenomenon. Like it will, 
it'll resonate for one moment in time. And then in a few generations, like in a generation or two, it'll be gone. Nobody will give a shit or remember his stuff. Just saying, you know, if you want to be like unforgettable, you can be making folk.